and he said he always liked the name of um, uh, uh, of uh, Hanfi. Now we have in his book Ruhani Khazan, Volume 19, we have uh, because there was a debate with Molana Batalvi and Chikralvi, who was a hadith rejecter, so he uh, Mirza Qadian, he put his notes uh, on this debate. He showed the 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 sayings of Molana Batalvi, the saying of uh, Chakralvi, the Hadith rejecter. And at the end, he gave his own opinion and the opinion of his Jama'ah about who's right, who's wrong. And he's right, he writes in page 212 of the book, uh, and uh, in the 243 of the PDF, if you download Ruhani Khazan, volume 19. So he says, Hamari Jama'at ka farz hona chahe ki agar koi hadith muhaarize aur mukhalif Quran aur Sunnah na ho to Hua kaise bhi adana darja ki hadith us par amal kare. So he said, our method, it is an obligation for us, if there is a hadith which does not oppose the Quran, to we should act upon it even if it's a low level of hadith. And if the topic, agar hadith me koi is not found a hadith, or neither in the Quran, is surat me fiqa hanfi par amal kare. Because this firqe ki kasal khuda ka irada par dalalat kati hai. He said, if you don't find anything in Quran or Hadith, you should act upon the Hanafi firqa because this firqa shows a lot. The 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 intent of uh, Allah is shown in this firqa. So he he says, I'm Hanfi. He never liked the name of Alul Hadith. In this one, Ruhani Khazain, he says, for our jamaat, if the topic is not in the Quran and the Hadith. They should follow the Hanafi fiqh. So any al hadith would never instruct his follower to follow the Hanafi fiqh. Likewise, one of the most famous debates in India, and the debates are about uh, Raful Yadain saying Amin loudly. About this, it is written in Siratul Mahdi of uh, Mirza's son Bashir Ahmad, volume 1, page 147, and, and it is um, uh, 153 of the PDF. Mi Abdullah Sanuri said, one of his Mirza's followers, he never saw Hazrat doing Raful Yadain, Amin Biljar, and never reciting Bismillah Biljar. Meaning, he never saw Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani doing Raful Yadain, saying Amin loudly or saying Bismillah loudly. Because some of scholars say saying Bismillah loudly is also permissible. Sometimes you, you can avoid to read it. Sometimes you can read it. Both are permissible for our Ayatul Hadith scholars. So the quote is, in Urdu, Mia Abdullah Saab said that he had been killed for a few days, but he had been killed for Amin Biljar. And Mia Abdullah Saab said that the Prophet Saab had never heard of Amin Biljar, and he had never heard of Bismillah Biljar, and he had never heard of Bismillah Biljar. So one of his students who stayed many years with him never saw Mirza Qadian doing Raful Yadain. And obviously this is one of the most I mean, debated topic. And after this, I mean, can anybody do Mirza Qadian? being uh, a Hanafi. Uh, I mean, there's no doubt he was a Hanafi. And as well, not, there happened a debate in Ludhiana, the first one between Mirza Qadian and this. When, when, um, when uh, Muhammad Hussain Batalvi said that the Hadith clearly said that uh, Isa was raised alive, Mirza said but this Hadith opposes the Quran. What happened is Mirza Qadiani he quoted, he said, no, but in Sahih Bukhari, the Prophet said, if a hadith opposes the Quran, then you should uh, leave this hadith and act on the Quran. And, and, and Mulana Muhammad Hussain Batalvi got so much angry, he said, this hadith is not in Bukhari, bring it. And he got so much angry, angry, and this is recorded in two of, uh, uh, this incident is recorded in Tazkiratul Mahdi of um, the Deobandi, uh, Siraj Jahul Haq, Nu'mani Saharan Puri, in his book, Tazkiratul Mahdi, page 165, first volume. I will give the link as well to download this book. It's a... Uh, yeah, 165 of the book, 167 of the PDF. And this is also mentioned in Siratul Mahdi, volume 3, page 495 and 497 of the PDF. So, this is written in Tazkiratul Mahdi. Yeah. 
جب یہ حدیث آئے کہ بخاری میں ہے کہ رسول اللہ نے فرمایا کہ جو حدیث میری معارض قرآن ہو چھوڑ دی جائے قرآن کو لے لیا جائے اس پر مولوی محمد حسن بٹالوی نہایت غصے میں آر کہا کہ یہ حدیث بخاری میں نہیں ہے اور جو یہ حدیث بخاری میں ہے تو میری دو بیویں طلاق ہے تلاشی حوالہ بخاری کا واقعہ لدھیانہ میں ہے کہ لدھیانہ کے مباحثہ میں مولوی محمد حسن بٹالوی نے بخاری کا ایک حوالہ طلب کیا کہ ان لدھیانہ بخاری Because this hadith, to present uh, the, the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I guess the Quran is present in Usul Ulan Wad, it is present in Usul Shashi that I have in my hand, and it is present to Odiyat al It is not present in Sahih Bukhari. So this shows that, the, I mean, Mirza Qadiani was following the Hanafi Usul Al-Fiqh. You see, it is written in Usul Shashi that Shart uh, Al-Amal Bi Khabar Al-Wahid On which action you should act upon the Khabar Wahid first? And la yakuna mukhalifan il kitab wa sunnah mashura. You should not oppose the Quran and the famous uh, sunnah mashura. And, la yak- and second, and la yakuna mukhalifan li dahil, li dahil qala sallam. He said, Prophet said, Takthuru lakum ala hadis ba'di fa'inu ruwe lakum ala hadisi fa'ridu ala kitab illa. Fama wafaqa faqbaluhu wa makhalafa farudduhu. The hadith after me, this is a false hadith, but this is what they write. The Prophet said, There will be lots of hadith after me, and if someone gives you hadith, uh, check it with the Book of Allah. If it agrees with it, accept it. If it opposes it, reject it. And, and the Deobandi publisher, at the, in the notes, he said, Takr al-Fatni fi tathkiratul mawdu'at. The Hanafi Muhaddis al-Fatni mentioned in, this, uh, in, in his book of fabricated ahadith. Takr al-Fatni fi tathkiratul mawdu'at. On page 28. So it is a fabricated hadith that the Ahnaf use not to restrict the... I mean, we need a different lecture to show why the Ahnaf, many hadith, they say they're Khabar Ahad, they're adding things to the Quran, we do not accept them. Like if a Zani who is not married or Zina, in the Sahih Muslim, it's written, should be expelled for a year after being uh, whipped. But the Ahnaf say, no, it is an addition to the Quran, it is a Khabar Ahad, we don't accept it. Like many others, I mean, at the beginning of Usul Shashi, He gives many examples, like we say, for the raza'a, drinking milk, it's only after five times that if a baby drinks from a, his mother, then the, uh, from another lady, the for forbidden based on milk drinking is established. But that's how the Quran uh, says, um, from drinking milk and the, the hadith in Sahih Muslim is restricting the Quran, we don't accept this for Khabar Ahad, it's adding to the Quran, and many like the, the intention for wudu, the intention of uh, the wudu for... The intention for wudu, they say it's not in the Quran, it's in Khabar Ahad. You cannot add a condition on Khabar Ahad. Uh, the, the itminan in Ruku and Sujud, they say it's not in the Quran, uh, so it's not obligatory. I mean, if someone prays in Ruku and Sujud without fully resting his bones, his prayer will still be valid. And likewise for the Hadith, many other Hadiths, that, 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 like uh, you should have ab- ablution for doing Tawab, that is not mentioned in the Quran, it's Khabar Ahad. So Mirza Qadiani, we see from his example and from Usul Shashi and the Hadith Mirza Qadiani was quoting, he was following the Hanafi Usul Al-Fiqh. And there's no doubt about this, because in many places of Ruhani Khazan, he blames the Elul Hadith for, and he blames them to be Jews. He said the, the Jews who, re- who rejected, he said the Jews were divided in 72 sects, but the, but the sect who, who rejected Isa alayhi salam was the Elul Hadith sect, because they used to act upon a hadith and reject the Torah, and they would take pre, uh, give precedence to a hadith, Khabar Ahad and others, over the Torah. And these are the ones who rejected Isa and tried to, uh, and killed him. So he said in his book, Kishti Nuh, I mean, look at, I mean, totally he used to curse the Elul Hadith, say, Mian Azir Hussain and Muhammad Zubatai, where Fir'aun Malun. He said in his book, Kishti Nuh, page 53-54, Volume 19 of Ruhani Khazan, if you download the PDF, it's on page 84-85. He's saying, 
حضرت عیسیٰ اس وقت کے یہودوں کے حضرت اس ان دا فوٹ نوٹس آف دا بک حضرت عیسیٰ علیہ السلام کے وقت میں یہودی اگرچہ بہت فرقے تھے مگر حق پر سمجھنے والے دو فرقے تھے ہی دیر واز مینی گروپ بٹ مینلی دیر ور ٹو گروپس ہو ار کانسیڈر ٹو بی اپن دا تھرو ٹروتھ فرسٹ گروپ ایک وہ جو تورات کی پابندی تھے کرتے تھے دوز ور فالوئنگ دا تورات اور اس اشتہادی طور پر مسائل کرتے تھے اینڈ دیر ور ایکسٹریکٹنگ رولز بائی اشتہاد فرام دا تورا یو سی And he said there was another group was the Alul Hadith which favored a hadith over the Torah. These Alul Hadith was widely spread in Israeli lands and they would act on a hadith that in most cases opposed the Torah and their ex- I mean, excuses what that all the Messiah of worship are not present in the Torah. So he said these people, the second group, Dusra Firqa Ali Hadith, that was the Torah on the Hadith, they were very much in the Torah. These Hadith in Israel were very much in the Torah. And then he said these people were cursed by Isa, And Allah, uh, and Isa al came to tell them, no, you should act upon the Torah, not act upon this ahadith that opposes the Torah. He carries on the, his fairy tales and full stories. And said, these al hadiths were, I mean, uh, Prophet Isa al he came to censor them and they caused his uh, death. I mean, totally, this shows that he was following Hanafi rules of Usul al-Fiqh. which tells the Khabar Ahad, you should check it with the Qur'an. If it opposes, you don't act, you don't do taqsis of the Qur'an with Khabar Ahad. You don't add to the Qur'an with Khabar Ahad. Um, um, and uh, Hafiz ibn Qayyim in, in Ilam Muqin has refuted the yani, Hanafi Muqalil for these rules, and he's shown that sometimes they even add to the Qur'an with a weak hadith, and they even add to the Qur'an with Qiyah sometimes. So, uh, I mean, it's a long lecture, I mean, on, on, on Usul al-Hadith and Usul al-Fiqh, We will my Michelle speak in another day, but just now quickly we will see. We've seen the quotes. Mirza saying, "I'm a Hanafi." He never liked the name. Uh, he, he was a Hanafi. He told his jamaat to follow Hanafi fiqh. He followed the Hanafi rules of hadith. He blamed the Alul Hadith for having false rules. Now we're going to see that he was a hardcore Sufi. In Ruhani Khazain, I mean, even in Taskiratul Rashid. It is written that Mirza Qaidani was a hardcore fan of Mulana Rashid Gangoi. This, is, this testimony comes from the Deobandi house. You see, it is written in volume 228 of Tazkiratul Rashid, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed Qaidani jis zamane mein barahin lik raha tha at the time before claiming, I mean, he being Masih at the time he was writing his book Barahin. Unki fazal wa kamal wa khirajat mein charcha shayra tha. حالانکہ اس وقت تک ان کو حضرت امام ربانی سے عقیدت تھی میں دس ٹائم ہی ہیڈ عقیدت ہی لوڈ امام ربانی میننگ رشید احمد گنگوئی اور اس طرف کے جانے سے والوں سے دریافت کرتے تھے کہ حضرت مولانا اچھی طرح میں ہے اور دہلی سے گنگو کا کیا فاصلہ ہے ہی واز مرزا قائد یعنی واز اے فین آف رشید احمد گنگوئی نے وہ آس پیپل ہو ووڈ گو ٹو گنگو ہاؤ از مولانا رشید احمد گنگوئی اینڈ what is the way, what is the distance between Delhi and Riyadh Gango because he wanted to go and meet him. So this shows he was a loving, and in Tazkirah Rashid, they never said he was a Alul Hadith. This is a new claim. So this also shows a full, full, full falsehood. So now we will have the first Sufi belief of Mirza. He believed that dead prophets come back on earth and meet people in a state of wakefulness. He said, in his book, Izalatul Awham. Izalatul Awham. It is in Ruhani Khazain, volume three, on page 226. And on the PDF is 258. He said, they meaning the, the, uh, they visit, meaning the, the dead people and prophets, they visit people of pure uh, hearts on earth instead of wakefulness. Our Prophet Sallallahu meeting with the earlier instead of wakefulness is present in many books and the author of this Risala, meaning himself, was honored to meet his honorable one, meaning he himself met the Prophet Sallallahu So it is written here, کہ بیداری میں پاک دل لوگوں کو کبھی زمین پر آ کر ملاقات بھی کر لیتے ہمارے نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اکثر اولیاء سے آئین بیداری کی حالت میں ملاقات کرنا کتابوں میں پڑا ہے اور مالف نے صلاح حضا بھی ایک دفعہ اشرف اس اشرف سے مشرف ہو چکا ہے سو ہی ہی ہیز دس بلیف دیٹ دا ڈیڈ پیپل اینڈ دس بلیف 
is present in the Deobandi book. So I have them. I mean, I'm only going to read the English, but the Urdu quotes are present in Arwasala on the webpage. I will indicate them. It is written in Arwasala in story number 440. There's a story of um, 